we're going to do is we will go ahead and start our Gatsby server and we will also add some scripts so that it allows us to run the Gatsby server so that we can start development. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do is the first thing we'll do is we will install the Gatsby CLI and you can do that. So you'll do npm install Gatsby CLI dash j. So this is going to install the Gatsby CLI globally. Um, it can help you create new projects by doing Gatsby uh, space and the new project etc. So you don't have to do everything manually. Okay, uh, that's another way of setting up a project. Okay, but since we are going from scratch, let's do it this way. Awesome. So I have already installed it, so I don't need to do that. Then once you install this, it gives since it gives you the Gatsby CLI command access. So with the help of Gatsby command, you can do a lot of stuff. For example, you can start the development server, you can build, you can do all sort of things. So let's begin with the development first. So we will come back to our site package.json. I'm going to close everything, and I'll come to site package package.json, and over here. Uh, you can see that I've already added these scripts. So the first one is Gatsby develop uh, and I'm putting an alias for that as dev. You can put start also. Some people do that. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, this is going to start a development server using the Gatsby CLI command. Uh, this my friend is going to help you with the build command. Okay. Uh, some people do prod. You can do that if you like and change the name. But Gatsby build is going to help you build build the project okay and serve ideally Gatsby serve allows you to serve it uh, on localhost 9000 so that you can check how it's going to look like in production before you actually deploy it um, generally what you do is when you serve it ideally you should clean the cache using Gatsby clean command uh, because it saves the data in form of cache and then you should build it using Gatsby build command and then serve it. So rather than running these three commands separately, I've combined them together and put them as one command using the and and op, uh, over here. So you can just run npm run serve and it's going to serve your site at localhost 9000. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is <coughs> we all so this is my site uh, where I have written these commands. Of course, I need to let my root of the project know about this as well because all of the commands that we're running so far should ideally be from the root and not from here. Okay, so what we're going to do is for that, so we're going to go ahead and add some scripts here. So I've done that. So let me explain this to you. So since we're using yarn, we already know in order for us to add a package, you need to use yarn add. And um, you need to do yarn workspace, the name of the workspace, and then add. In our case, I want to run the dev command. So instead of npm install, since we are using yarn, we'll do yarn workspace site, which means go to site and run this command, which is equivalent to npm npm run dev. Okay, so this you can consider as equivalent to npm run dev, but for this particular uh, directory, which is site and then package.json. Okay, and then for build, we use this and then this my friend is going to go to serve actually serve awesome and since we know that inside of our theme uh, we keep all of our packages uh, all of our st all of our data for the front end inside of s source directory all of the files for the front end inside of source directory we are going to go ahead and create a directory called pages and we're going to create and a directory called index sorry we're going to create a file called index.js and inside of this I can just do index page equals so I'll use a react component here of course I need to import react since we've already Im installed react so I'll just pull that from there uh, okay okay and then return and we're going to do the common stuff that we always do. Can you guess it? What we're going to do now? Yes, we're going to do hello world. <laughs> okay, great. 
Okay, let's change it. Let's change the tradition. <laughs> let's do Hello Gatsby. <laughs> okay, fine. And you also need to do export default index page. Okay. All right. So now we we can actually start our development server by doing npm run dev and see what happens. There you go. So the magic begins. So what this is doing is it is going ahead and running the uh, this command right here. Where is it? This one. npm run dev. So this is going to run yarn workspace side dev, which means in turn it's going to run Gatsby develop. And since we put this as dependency, okay, it's going to use the packages from there. And since inside of our config of our site, we have mentioned that please go ahead and use this plugin. It's going to go ahead and use that plugin as our. I think we accidentally, I think we accidentally created the Gatsby config here in the root of the packages. This should actually go inside of the theme. So just move it here. And and over here instead of headless WordPress this will be headless CMS that's what my where my site resides theme okay so it's running the Gatsby develop let's just wait for that to happen <coughs> there you go you can see that it's validating the config loading all of the plugins copying the Gatsby file building the schema creating pages of course we haven't created any of the pages but that's what it's going to do eventually uh, update the schema, building development bundle, doing all sort of stuff and running the page queries and so once that is done it's going to serve beautifully at the URL localhost 8000. Awesome. Let's look at this. There you go. So come over here, open it up and I'm expecting hello Gatsby, absolutely. Okay, great. So you've got Helio Gatsby, you've got our site running, and this power you're going to get, and this power thing, powerful thing is called graphical. So you'll have access to graphical here. So now if I refresh, you can see that on the double underscore double score GraphQ triple underscore gra sla slash triple underscore GraphQL you also have the HW GraphQL you can query any of the pages uh, like this like edges node you can get let's say the title of the page you can just click like that make your queries and you can get date of the post you can get the page ID you can get the slug as well here's the slug um, just query it like so and here you go you can see you've got all of the pages this is how you're going to query the best part is that uh, because all of these things will already be available because we will test our queries before we actually write them uh, it will save a lot of time for us in making any of the mistakes right so graphical is super helpful as you can see Awesome. I'll see you then.